Today is officially the first day of moving. Can you tell I'm a little excited? I'm officially moving next Tuesday and it is Wednesday. So I have about six days to pack up, pack up. I decided I didn't want to hire movers. Right now I'm feeling pretty good about it, but I know probably by the end of the day or tomorrow or the next day, I'm 100% gonna be regretting it. And where are we gonna start, you may ask? Well, this room has the most amount of things, probably the most overwhelming. Mainly because of these bad boys right here. So I feel like we should start with the, the worst one and then it can get better. So going into this journey of packing up everything I own, I did have a little bit of a process in the back of my head, surprisingly. And one was to actually label the boxes um, correctly and so I know everything is and not just throw random things in there. And two was to take everything out of the previous boxes I had in my closet so when I arrived at my new place, I could organize them how they would work in my space. And also it just wouldn't take up as much room. I'm trying to get the least amount of boxes with the most amount of things in there. Yeah, that was kind of my process. So you kind of saw my method for how I'm boxing everything up. I'm trying my best to keep things organized like sewing supplies, yarns, knitting, craft stuff all together so when I open the box and I'm actually at my place organizing it, it's easy. But I'm trying not to keep them in my bins here just because they aren't organized. <laughs> They're terrible, they are messy. So when I get there, I really wanna have like an open slate where I can organize it how the space will work and then go from there. I feel like moving is always so eye-opening to how much stuff we actually have in our homes because I just finished one box and I feel like I barely made a dent in my room. Looking at this closet, I definitely see some things I can get rid of. So I think I should also grab another box for donations. I ended up getting all my boxes from just someone off Facebook Marketplace that just moved. So they gave me some extra boxes. So I have the Twilight series here and I read them all again last year, but for some reason I didn't read the last hundred pages of the last book here. So I've just kept them. Should I keep them? I kind of might want to read them for a third time or finish the last hundred pages. After I move, I need to get back into Animal Crossing because watch just just I have amiibo cards and I ended up getting my favorite character, Adi, and I don't have her on my island. I also did get Petrie, which is another one I want. So I've been sitting here just staring at all the items that are just around me and I'm just kind of at a crossroad because all these items are items I don't want to keep, but I also don't want to get rid of. It's so hard, like this ink. I'm not keeping my printer, I'm getting a new printer, so I don't need to keep this ink because I can't use it, but I don't want to get rid of it either. So I'm not gonna put everything in boxes if I already have bins like this one. So I'm gonna package all of my fabrics in here. And then I also do have some bigger bins that have yarn and stuff that I'm just gonna leave as is. And then, that yeah, that's all I have to say. So I think for fabric, the best method of storing it is by rolling it into like a little cinnamon bun. You know when you make cinnamon buns and then it's like a long, roll like this and then you go chop, 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 chop to get the cinnamon bun. Or make cinnamon bun rolls with them.
both closets are emptied. Well, almost, because I do still have my art in here from college, then my high school art, but I, don't, I really don't wanna deal with that right now. And then I just have this one empty basket, but everything that I need to actually look through is out. And where is it? Is on the floor. And honestly, I am so happy I did this first because if I did this last, I would not have had the energy to actually go through everything in my closet, every little craft supply I own. That would not have happened. It would not have happened day six. It would have just been put into a box and shipped off to my new place. And then I would have had to deal with it then, which, you know, I definitely did not want to deal with it then. And then it just disaster. <sighs> I was just very happy I made smart decisions at the start of this process. Morning. Okay. Okay. So today is the day that I am going to be packing the rest of my room, finishing the room today. Just get it all packed up. Day is the day. The only thing is I am at the part where I'm actually at the part where I need to go through all the items that I don't think I should keep, but I really, really want to keep. I'm just, you know, at that fork in the road, needing to decide what um, should be going in the donation bin. Yeah. Like, do I keep this box of all my leftover wedding invitations or technically it's a wedding card my dress looks absolutely stunning in this photo okay how about i just keep like three of them salt oh my goodness this was the first sport i ever played look at me i played boys lacrosse also my graduation picture look at me Oh gosh, going down memory lane right now. This is Benson's first picture with Santa. He was way too scared to sit on Santa's lap, so Tim had to take the picture with him because we already paid. Also, I was so excited to get this for graduation because I got summa cum laude when I graduated, but now I'm like, what the heck do I do with this? This was my locker name tag in college because I was on the track team. Once they got most of the things taken off or put away in boxes out the floor, I was able to take down the walls or the things on the walls. I don't even know what that voice was, but it just felt right in the moment and um, thought you guys might enjoy it while I do a little de um, decorating. De dec dec I don't know. Undecorating? Is that the word? Almost done. I just have the stragglers on my desk, on my ground here, the ground. And then I'm pretty much done the room. I actually got pretty- Pretty good, pretty- Focused. I got really focused and just like banged everything out. Donated a ton of stuff. I think I got like three bins of donations. I got a couple more boxes, got all my bins, got rid of some of my yarn. I feel very accomplished. I am almost done the room. I just have some stragglers on the table here, a little bit on the floor, sewing machines, some shoes, mat. But after that, I'm pretty much done. I don't even think I'll fill another full box. I probably will be like half a box and then it's done and then we can move on to the next room. <laughs> oh, that sucked. I, I didn't realize that, yeah. 
I have a whole place to do. I was just thinking, oh, I'd finish this and then, you know, accomplished, but no. I'm almost done. Almost done. Almost done. Just joking, I haven't even started cleaning this stuff up. <laughs> so, not quite a quarter box. It ended up being a full box, but I'm finally done the room. I do have a few stragglers just because I do need these certain items or they just didn't fit into a box. So I'm just leaving them out for the meantime. But I think this room now is going to be the storage room for all our boxes. So now I gotta bring all this stuff back in here. So we decided for our next place, we didn't want to keep our dining room table and our chairs. So we actually just got rid of them now. So we don't have anything here. So we're going to move my desk from my room out here for like the next four or five days and use that as like our table, dining room table. So everything's off the walls that we need to get off the walls. So we're gonna have to do lots of patching of all the holes over here. But luckily, we don't have to take this cupboard down and the shelves. We can leave those up. It's just all this we, we had to take down. Morning, friends. Morning. So today is day three. Yep, it's day three. And we're finally moving on to bigger and better things. We are in the bedroom today and uh, I'm not really looking forward to this part because I did sell my bed frame on the weekend and that bed frame was really nice because underneath they had these big storage slider bins, I drawers something like that, where I put all my clothes in there. And I didn't think it was gonna sell that fast, so I didn't really prepare for what I was gonna do with all those clothes underneath my bed. So I did nothing. And then when they came to get it, I had to quickly decide where I was gonna put the clothes, so I just threw them on the floor of my closet. So we kinda need to do a little bit of a closet clean out slash declutter before I can even, even think about packing it. They're doing yard work outside again. Oh. Okay, you guys want to see the closet? I'll show you. Here it is. It's not as bad as it looks because I do have a lot organized here and here and then whatever, my husband's stuff. But underneath, I do have some pillows, a duvet. So it's kind of just propped up a bit so it looks worse than it is. See? Pillow, pillow, duvet, another pillow. Okay, that's way better. So I'm done organizing now. I have a pile here, which this is clothes I'm gonna be selling. Some are handmade, some are just clothes I'm not wearing anymore. And then over here, these are other clothes I'm keeping. Gonna be packing up. I did have a pile here of the clothes I've donated, but I already put that in the hallway. And then for the closet, it is all ready to go. So I think I'm gonna start packing up now. So I'm pretty sure you can get like wardrobe boxes. where you just put the hangers, the clothes, everything just into the box. But um, I don't have them. I just have basic old used secondhand boxes that have probably been used 45 times. So they might destroy my clothes and get them super dirty, but 
I don't care. I, okay, I do care, but I'm too lazy to actually try to go get wardrobe boxes, and I'm also too cheap that I don't want to do that. So I'm gonna fill this box. I wonder if it'll work if I just take everything off the rack and just plop it in there, kind of like it's going into a wardrobe box. Okay, next box. Benson. Don't think I need any swimsuits. We're just gonna chuck them all in there. Let's be honest, I'm probably not working out. <clears throat> Man, I actually really feel bad. I thought I was gonna organize this really nicely, but honestly, it's just so much easier just chucking it in there. I have no idea how I'm gonna organize my next place, so it, it's okay if I just chuck everything in there. It will be okay. So for activewear, I probably will not use any of this in the next three days. I'll try my best to keep it folded because I did fold it really nicely in here because <laughs> I don't use it. Close Jenna. Close um, swimsuits plus others. I have legit no idea what I put in there. So I'm just taking Benson P. And I thought while I take him P, I can tell you a little bit about my new place. So my new place, it's definitely taller in the sense that it's higher in the air. It's in a high rise. So I won't be able to walk down flights of stairs to take him P anymore. We're gonna have to be going through an elevator. Or down, technically down an elevator. But I gotta say, the thing I am most excited for for my next place is, it's the AC, baby. I am so excited. I've been excited and been wanting AC for 36 years now. 36. Like I wasn't even born yet and I knew I needed AC. Okay, anyways, almost done in here. I just have a few more here and then I gotta start going through all these bins up here to see you. What's even in there? I don't even know. Okay. Oh my gosh. I found my watch. This is the watch I used to wear every single time I ran and it was so cool because when I was like training, it had like a little tap feature. So every time I did a lap, I go tap. Like when I hit the line and then it, it would mark it. It's also GPS too, so it told me how fast I was running and like how far and stuff. Fun fact, one leg is shorter than the other, so when I was running lots, I had to wear this in my shoe to make the other leg taller. Well, I just ran out of tape, so... I think I'm gonna go play on my computer now. I'll finish packing when that guy's off work. So I ended up just playing on my computer for a few hours and I didn't get any more tape, but now I'm going to look at some furniture. So I thought maybe you guys want to come look at furniture and then get tape.
packaging tape secured. I don't get it when people ask me, they're like, Jenna, when are you having kids? And I'm like, I legit have a child right here. So this morning I am going to try to finish the bedroom now that I finally have tape and I can finish packing. And then after that, I feel like I might do some cleaning because I definitely have a fridge that has pasta sauce, salad dressing, other condiments that have just expired probably two years ago in there. Sunscreens looking. <laughs> What's that word everyone uses? Glazed. I look like a glazed donut. How oh, I like it. Next thing. We are gonna take all the plants out of my room now. I am gonna just put them in the living room beside all of the other plants I am bringing to my new place, AKA all of my plants I am bringing. And I don't know how I'm gonna be transporting them yet. I'm thinking probably in my car. I think I'm just gonna fill my whole car up with my plants because I'm too nervous about putting them in the U-Haul. First plant, propagation of a plant. And my big boy plant. Isn't this one just stunning? Next plant, this plant right here, my plant, but I also kind of consider it my husband because it sits right here beside him, but I take care of it. Hi, Benson. So, it is now 12.34. We originally woke up at 7 a.m. to get the dogs walking, eat breakfast, and then, you know, just get going this morning. But we fell down the rabbit hole at looking at furniture online for many hours this morning. So, we're having a little bit of a late start today. That's okay. We're just going to work later now. But I'm here in the kitchen. I'm finally tackling the task of this fridge. Oh, what is this? I don't know. <laughs> I was right, there is yogurt. Old yogurt. Sauce I probably made a year ago. This is good. I'm gonna keep all the good stuff in here. Now for the freezer, which is a lot less scary. And I think we can all agree on this, that the least exciting part about moving is definitely emptying out your fridge, getting down to the bottom of the freezer to find those cheeseburgers that have been sitting there for three years now, and they are just completely freezer burn. They have freezer burn. N no, wait, that, that's the worst part I did. The actual worst part of cleaning out your fridge is rinsing the containers that have spoiled food in and then trying to clean those containers so you can then recycle them, but also not put all the food down the drain and take all that food and put it into the compost, you know. Yeah, that part's not very fun. Luckily, I didn't do it. But then it was on to non-perishable, my favorite section of the kitchen because there was no mold, no nasty stuff, no cleaning. And I just had to sort through what was good, what was expired. And most of that food I actually donated to a family in my local community there who were needing extra food. I just had way too much. I didn't need like 45 cans of beans and I knew it'd probably go bad before I actually ate all this food. So we just kept a little bit for ourselves to bring to our next place that we could eat right away. And then most of this stuff, we ended up just donating to a family. Hello? Hello? I'm back here. Hi. I'm currently editing my video right now, and um, this is really the only spot I have to really record it, to actually do some voiceovers. Um, 
Luckily, today is the last day and we are gonna be finishing packaging up our place. But for the meantime, I need to do some work. So yesterday, it wasn't as successful as we hoped. We said we were gonna stay up and finish the kitchen and finish just like everything so we could just clean today. But here we are, 346, and we do not have the kitchen done. We have not started cleaning. We haven't really done anything because we both had to work this morning. And we're moving tomorrow at 9 a.m. 9 o'clock in the morning, we gotta get all this stuff out of here. So tonight's actually gonna be a long night. We're not gonna watch 90 Day Fiance again and just sit on the couch. We actually have to get it done. Cause we're moving tomorrow. Tomorrow's the day. Oh my goodness, I got a burrito. It's six o'clock now, so I am taking my dinner break. I got my favorite burrito. This is the last time I'm able to have my burrito because the location, this is a chain place where I get this burrito. And I just really like this certain location I go to, but this is my last time eating a burrito from this certain location, so I hope they didn't do me dirty and give me a bad one. It's very rare I get a bad burrito from there. Okay, but while I'm starting to work my burrito, I'll tell you what I've done so far. One, I have almost finished the kitchen. I just have a couple things that I have not done. Two, I think that's it. I think I only started working on the kitchen and I still haven't finished it. So immediately packing the first two kitchen boxes with the bigger boxes, I immediately regretted it because kitchen stuff is very heavy. There's lots of plates. There's lots of heavy things in there and now I can't lift them. So for the next boxes, I'm gonna use the small ones. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed packing up my whole place with me. This is the first part in my moving series and in our next part, we're actually gonna be moving it all to my new place and I will be giving you guys a home tour, an empty home tour of my next place and there's gonna be a lot more videos in the series of me setting up my new place. So I hope you guys all enjoyed it and I will see you guys all in my next video. Bye.